Hello there folks, how are you? It's lovely to see you again as usual and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and I hope that I find you very well indeed. If you're new and it's your first time here, my name's Cheryl and this is just the part of the week where I share with you a wee family recipe or two. So tonight I've got a proper hug and a plate, a wonderful autumn winter recipe. It's basically a very creamy chicken and mushroom stew topped with mashed potato and cheese. It's just wonderful. So let me go and show you how I put this one together. So I'm going to be using chicken thigh meat but just make sure it's boneless and skinless. You can use chicken breasts or chicken fillets, whatever you prefer. So just pop that into a pan with some salt and pepper and some boiling water. Now you can fry your chicken if you prefer but I prefer for this kind of thing just to poach it. You know it's going to give you a lovely soft texture and we're just going to let this poach in your seasoned boiling water for about 20 minutes. Like like I said, I am using chicken thigh meat, but use whatever chicken you prefer. I've only recently got into using thigh meat because it has got bags more flavour than the regular chicken breasts. And don't throw away your stock water at the end because we are going to use that as the base of your sauce. So let's move on. The other thing we have to do is the potatoes. So get some cold water this time. Chop up your potatoes. Make sure they're roughly the same size just so that they cook roughly at the same time. So pop your potatoes into your cold water. Do make sure you pop a wee bit of salt in there as well and just let those simmer away until they're nice and tender. Probably take you about 20 25 minutes. By this stage your chicken should be done and look at that wonderful stock you're left with. Like I said, do keep that because I'm going to use that for the stock. Cut your chicken up into bite-sized pieces and I've got a wee bowl there at the back I'm just going to put my chicken into. So just use the same pan. To that I'm going to add a knob of butter. You can use oil if you prefer. I just think it gives a nicer flavour, you know, if you use the melted butter. To this I'm going to add some button mushrooms. I've just sliced mine through the middle. You want to cook these for about five minutes just until they're starting to pick up a good bit of colour. You don't need them fully cooked, just make sure they are a nice colour. And to this we're going to add a leek. You can use onion if you prefer. I just prefer leek in a pie. So this is a medium leek, just very finely sliced, just until you get to the very green part of the leek. I don't use the very green leaves of the leek. And just stir this around until it's starting to go nice and soft. And to this I'm going to add some minced garlic and just let this fry for about a minute and with your leeks and your mushrooms and then you can add your chicken back in along with those lovely resting juices. Another wee knob of butter because this will be quite dry by now. You just want to stir everything around until your, but your butter has melted again. And then for herbs, I'm going to use a good tablespoon or two of fresh tarragon and then also a teaspoon of sage. I didn't have any fresh sage, so I'm just going to use the dried sage. But again, use whatever herbs you prefer. I think sage and tarragon work wonderful with chicken. So does dill, actually. And we're going to pop in a couple of tablespoons of plain flour. This is going to help thicken up your sauce at the end and just make sure that's well covered and combined and let this cook for about a minute just to let the raw flour sort of disintegrate. To this I'm going to add one teaspoon of English mustard and one teaspoon of whole grain mustard but again you can leave this out or use whatever mustard you prefer. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Now you're going to need some liquid so I've added the stock th from the chicken earlier, you know the stock that we drained away. So pop that in and give it a good stir together. The last thing I'm going to do is pop in some double cream and also some creme fraiche and this is going to give your sauce a lovely creamy velvety flavour and texture. It's just amazing but again you can use whatever you like. Just use creme fraiche you know if you don't want to use the cream it's completely up to you and that's my creme fraiche going in as well. This just gives it a nice wee sort of sour edge. I haven't used too much so it's not sour you know but it just gives it a nice wee sort of background kick and just let this simmer away probably for 15 to 20 minutes and this will thicken and reduce by about half and that will be ideal. So whilst you're waiting get back to your tatties and these should be tender by now. Just stick a knife in if they come out you know quite easily you'll know they're ready. Drain off the water. I'm going to add a wee splash of cream, a splash of milk and also a knob of butter and just mash these until you're happy with the texture. I like really smooth 
mashed potato for this kind of thing. So I give them a really good mash. And once I think they're done, I go back in again for another mash. Keep a wee bit of heat underneath your pan. I've got a gas cooker, so I keep it on the lowest you know, heat setting while I'm doing this and it always results in a lovely, creamy, smooth mashed potato. So go back to your chicken and if you're happy, you can move on to the next stage. And I was really happy with this. It's thickened up really well and it's reduced by about half. So grab yourself a large oven dish, pop your chicken and mushroom and creamy mixture into the bottom. Then you just want to top the top with your mashed potato. I start off quite thin, you know, with quite a thin layer of mashed potato just to make sure it's all covered. And then I go back over it again where I need the mashed potato. I just add a wee bit more, as you can see, until it's all gone and it's nice and even all over the top. And then I just like to rough the top of mine up with the back of a spoon and then pop on some grated cheese. I'm using mozzarella this time. You can use cheddar cheese or whatever you like. I just like the colour that mozzarella, mozzarella ends up going. So pop this into the oven for between 20 and 25 minutes. Everything is cooked by this stage, so you just want it all nicely warmed through and going nice and brown on the top. So that's what I've done there. So about 25 minutes and you will be left with something that looks like this. And let me tell you, this was absolutely delicious. That creamy mushroom and chicken sauce would have been perfect just on its own with some rice actually. But with the mashed potato, it's just a, it's a, a wonderful combination. I've just cut a wee corner out there just to let you see what it looks like underneath, but it is quite hard to let you see because it's such a similar colour to the mashed potato. So that's what we had for our tea and we just had some balls of doom on the side and also some sweet corn as well. And this was a lovely combination. I highly recommend you give that one a go if you do like this kind of thing. And I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box underneath the video as well. And a big thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube and for you all for leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well. And I will catch up with you on Friday, I think, for my week shopping and bagging or back on Sunday for meals of the week or even back next week for another wee recipe. And I'm expecting my degusta box next week as well. So whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, I'm what's for T3 over there and it would be lovely to see because obviously I share videos and photos and things that don't make it over here to YouTube but whenever you join me again you know mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye for now. Bye now.